Hey guys, Pete and Logan again in the dark room. We're going to talk about a advanced seam leak. And we have one that we don't even need to blow up. It's quite obvious that we have a seam leak. It's more than likely this thing sat on the beach out in the sun, fully inflated, and we just released the seam. One of the problems that we have with the seam leaks sometimes is the drop stitch material will come through. And so we have to make sure that we get all the drop stitch material back into the board or we have to cut it off. So as you can see right now, I'm inside of the board getting all the drop stitch material back in there. It does not take the vinyl glue very well. But there we go. We got it all back up in there. We're going to clean it and make our repair. Okay, I have acetone in my syringe and I'm just going to open the seam up just a little bit more than it was with acetone to make sure I don't have any glue balled up in the corners. And then I'm going to go ahead and just clean it really well on both sides. Right here you can see how well the acetone does clean. That was a pretty dirty board. So I can see right now that all the dirt is gone. If not, there again, we get our 220 sandpaper out and we just clean it up just a little bit and I'm gonna do a little bit on the inside. After you do the acetone inside of the seam, it takes a little bit longer for it to dry. So we wanna make sure it's good and dry and we let the acetone flash. So we'll let this sit a couple minutes before we begin the gluing process. A couple minutes have gone by. Using this glue? Huh? Yeah, use this. Okay, we're gonna use our HH66 glue, uh, which we've had a lot of luck with. Now we're just gonna put a lot on both surfaces because now on this repair we're going to go ahead and let it sit 24 hours before we try to inflate it again. All right, Lou, you want to clamp us? Yep. So we're taking, we're putting our clamp right over the seam. Yeah, we're using uh, quarter inch pieces of aluminum. If you don't have this at your house, go ahead and use wood. Just wrap it in wax paper so it does not stick to the glue. Our repair is almost complete. We're going to let it set 24 hours. Then we're going to come back and inflate it to pressure for 24 hours, and if it holds, we have a good repair. Hey, Pete and Logan back with our advanced seam leak repair. And we're gonna take our clamp off, take our metal out, and we're gonna blow this up and make sure it holds there. Then we'll inflate it to pressure and keep it inflated for 24 hours, and if it doesn't leak, we've had a successful repair. Where is our water load? Okay. Yeah, we'll hop back over there and see where it's at. Looks like we're on our way to a successful repair. No air leaking. So now we're going to go ahead and bump it up to uh, recommended pressure for 24 hours and it's be good to go.